Place Your Team magazine's Gabby Smith gets an exclusive interview with Olympic gold medalist Peter Wilson. First question, why did you get into shooting? I know you had the snowboarding accident. Why shooting specifically? To be absolutely precise, I got into shooting when I was very, very young. I mean, I live on a farm and I, I had the opportunity to shoot. Um, but never really took it up, and, uh, and it was only when I had this, this snowboarding accident that I did. I, I, I had the opportunity to play chess, to play tiddlywinks, and, and I worked out that I was completely useless at both. A friend of mine was shooting, and he said, look, come along, have a go. If they'll allow you to shoot one-handed, then, um, then I'm sure you know, you, you'll enjoy it. I had, like I said, shot before, so I thought, yeah, go for it. We'll have, we'll have some fun. Did that for six months with, with my arm in a sling. The other six months were, were sort of rehabilitation, and the physios were really keen that I carry on anyway because I was holding the gun in my left arm, and that was sort of naturally just, just uh, good for me and good for my, my recovery. And, uh, and really when I came back to full fitness, I went back to cricket, squash, sort of more mainstream sports, and realised that I was even worse at them than when I started, and decided that you know, enough was enough, and I'll, I'll carry on with shooting. I shot then competitively for about four years uh, on the sporting scene and fit house scene and just really worked out that if I wanted to carry on professionally, uh, and not that I was at that time anyway, but if I wanted to kick off and, and take it up in, in a professional way, I'd watch Richard Folds win the Olympics in 2000 and realise that that was the only avenue. You have to go to the Olympic Games, you have to take it one step further. The run up to the Olympics, how has it been the last... Sort of however long it's been that you've been planning well, for the Olympics? Well, I've been shooting now for six years. Uh, I wasn't good enough to, to compete in Beijing. I was, however, allowed to go as part of Ambition 2012, and that meant that I got a real experience, a real flavour for what the Olympics is all about. And if nothing else, that gives you that real driving force to commit and, and just push your, your body and your mind to the, to the absolute limit. And um, it's, it's a four-year process, and Ahmed and I have been working really, really hard on, on, on it. And Ahmed is certainly a, a very individual very different and has a has a fascinating method to getting the information across and also working what we work on. When you're coming up to the final you've got through the qualification with a brilliant score, how does that feel? Feels good, I mean if I'm honest, um, I'm really honest, it wasn't my best score. I, I was actually quite disappointed with my qualifying rounds. I would have been much happier with a couple more clays going in. Clearly you know any lead is obviously a great, a great mm -hmm. lead but going into an Olympic final at home had, had a bit of pressure stuck to it, so um, I would have been happy with a few more. Uh, the final was, I mean, an amazing experience, I have to say. You know, altogether, that was just something that I'll, I'll live with for the rest of my life, and, and uh, it was just the most incredible experience. And you've obviously been asked to ask this a lot, but what did it feel like when you dropped those two targets? <laughs> it's not easy, you know. I, I said to myself, I, I mean, in fact, I, I, I dropped three in the run-up to, you know, run to it, and uh, by that stage, I sort of got everything going. I was pretty happy with my shooting, very happy technically, mentally, etc. I think I probably got a little bit ahead of myself. I think I started thinking maybe this is it. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm soon to be an Olympic gold medalist, and that's, that's, that's quite special at home. And that was really the only thing I put that, that, that attribute, that double miss down to. And, uh, and that's, that wasn't something that I was too fussed about, if I'm honest, because it's just a mental tweak. I allowed myself to look at the board when we went to pass peg three, so I had two pairs to go. I realised I had a lead. I hit the pair, running up to peg five, I realised this is it, this is the Olympic Games. I thought about double barrelling the first one, and that only really was for about a second, but it's something that does go through your head when you realise the importance of this competition. And I thought, this is it, let's just do this, let's get this done, let's finish this job off, and let's just go home and play a bit of table tennis. So, uh, so I did, and I shot the pair. Read the full report on Wilson's win in the September issue of Play Shooting, out next week.